first alert weather with meteorologist Eric Weglars. All right, it's a bit of a cooler start this morning than the last couple of days. We've gone from the 50s to in some cases now the lower 30s. We'll have the look here from Stratton. We're panning the camera towards the left here. You see it's a cloudy start, but there's still plenty of snow on the area mountains. Temperatures are in the lower 30s there, so considerably colder compared to just this time yesterday, believe it or not. And well, our highs will not be anywhere close to where we were yesterday afternoon for that matter as well. There are a few snow showers this morning on Storm Tracker. You see them beginning to move through from west to east this morning. The steadiest are across the Adirondacks, and that'll be the case for much of this afternoon as well. That's round one. There's a second round further up in Ontario. Can't really see it too well on Storm Tracker, but this will begin to move down later today, and that'll be the focal point for a few more snow showers as we head through the evening hours as well. So we are in the 30s and the 40s this morning, 40 in Burlington, 30 in Saranac Lake, the lower 40s across the upper valley. And check this out. We go into the lower and middle 30s this afternoon. There may be a hint or two of sunshine, but the theme is colder temperatures, more clouds, and a few more snow showers for that matter as well as we go again through this evening. So turns colder this weekend. That is the theme of this weekend. It is a lot nicer now. It's a lot drier by Sunday. A few snow showers later on this afternoon, but no big storms ahead. That is the, the nice trend to the forecast here. So we'll stop future cast here at 10 o'clock. A few snow showers still lingering, especially across the Adirondacks and parts of the Northeast Kingdom in places like Orleans and Essex County. A bit of a break this afternoon and then more snow showers this evening. This is that second push out of Ontario. The steadiest snow in the Adirondacks and portions of the Seaway Valley, but a few of these snow showers could trickle into parts of the Green Mountains and then it's a lot drier for Sunday. Plenty of sunshine, a few clouds mixed in there as well, and perhaps a stray mountain flurry or two in places like Whiteface where there could be a few more snow showers that linger through Sunday afternoon. Monday starts off dry as well. Plenty of sunshine and any clouds sink well to the south by Monday afternoon. So in terms of snow accumulations, this is today, tonight and early tomorrow morning. We're thinking three to six inches of snow across the Adirondacks, an inch or two across the spines of the green. So places like Jay Peak, uh, Stratton, down through Stowe and Mount Snow should be in good shape here as we go through tomorrow morning. Highs today are early in the upper 20s and even the upper 30s in the Champlain Valley on the New York side of Lake Champlain, 37 in Plattsburgh, 29 in Saranac Lake, 39 in Burlington, 40 in Virgins, 39 in Chelsea, the lower 40s in the Northeast Kingdom. And look at this, we're in the upper 30s and lower 40s for much of southern Vermont as well. Snow showers will be persistent throughout the afternoon. The only other area for concern here in the forecast is Thursday. We have a weak clipper coming out of Canada, so this will touch off some rain and mountain snow, but it's light. And look at this, plenty of sunshine for the foreseeable future here in the five day forecast plus five. Sunday, St. Patrick's Day looks really nice. Temperatures in the lower 30s will hold on to the 30s all the way through Tuesday. So there's that slow thaw, which is really nice for our area rivers and streams, lowers the flooding concerns considerably. And then we go back up to the middle 40s. Thursday and Friday, rain and snow showers do persist. Breezy on next Saturday will hold in the 40s all the way through the start of the following week. <laughs>